Hey guys, Wayne here from Tech Made Easy. Today I'm going to be going over how to use the new Fitbit Versa for beginners. This is going to be a basic beginner's guide going over all the basics. This is going to uh, apply for the Fitbit Versa and the Fitbit Versa Lite as well. So let's jump right in. I do have the Fitbit app right here and we have our Fitbit Versa right here. Now a couple things, uh, if you haven't already paired it to your phone, uh, it is going to ask you to just turn on the device. It will ask you to download the Fitbit app and then open the app and make sure that your Bluetooth and your location settings are turned on. We do have a separate video on how to do that in case you haven't gotten that far. Uh, we'll leave that link in the description uh, when we get a chance. But for those that have it set up and ready, let's jump right in. So this is the main screen here. There's one button on this device, which is right here. Pressing that button will uh, turn the screen on and off. And if you hold the button down, it will actually access a, a separate menu that will allow you to control a couple of things. So your screen wake and notifications. Uh, so screen wake is basically when you turn your wrist, it's what makes the display turn on. So if you don't want the display to turn on when you flick your wrist, you're like, oh, what time is it? If you don't want the display to come on, you just simply turn off screen wake you want to put it on manual. If you do want the screen to turn on, make sure that it's set to auto, okay? And then notifications. You can turn off your notifications in case you don't want your screen to constantly light up when maybe you're in a meeting or an important conversation. You can go ahead and just turn the notifications off temporarily and turn them back on right after. If you swipe to your right, you also have another option called music controls, which basically will allow you to control music from your phone. Just go ahead and press got it right there. You will need to pair your phone to your watch um, via the Bluetooth settings. And then again, music controls will come up. And you'll be able to control your music right from your Fitbit. All right. Now we're back on the main screen here. Swiping down from the top will allow you to see your notifications. So any emails that you have or text messages, uh, you can see them all from the top just by swiping through. And if we swipe back up, it'll take us back to the clock. Now later on in the video, I will show you how to link the Fitbit to your different apps so you can get different notifications come through. So on this main watch face here, uh, you have a couple of different options here. You'll notice you have uh, your heart rate, you have steps, and you have your calories burnt. If you want to switch between those options, all you do is tap the screen and it will change from heart rate to your steps and tap it again. It'll show you the calories burnt for the day. So just tapping the screen is how you cycle through the different options down here. Later on in the video, we'll also show you how to change the watch face as well in case you want to put uh, something funner or just different on there. Now swiping up from the, from the bottom, this will bring up a more in-depth view of your stats. So your steps, um, and you can actually swipe through here. So steps, your distance, calories burnt, um, and your active minutes, as well as um, your activity for the week. And if we swipe up, we can see our hours of the day, resting heart rate, you can swipe through there as well, and you've got more in-depth uh, look here. So cardio, peak performance, and how many minutes of the day were you burning fat, and some more in-depth stats as well. We have our weekly exercise snapshot. And if we go to the settings here, you can see even more. You can customize what you want to show up in this menu here. So core stats, hourly steps, heart rate, exercise, your water intake, you can track that as well. Food intake, your weight, badges, all that. I think I'm gonna, I want to enable my badges and my water intake. And I don't necessarily care as much about my hourly steps. Um, things like that I don't would look at too often. So um, we'll keep that there. And then when you're all done, go ahead and just hit that home button to take you back one step. And then now if I swipe up, now there's my water intake you can use this to keep track of your water you can just literally just tap on that and just pick how many fluid ounces you drink hit that and that's how you can just keep 
adding in how much water you've drunk for the day, which is pretty cool. I didn't know that until just now. Um, and you can see your average of what you've drunk for the week. And then these are our badges now that we've enabled that. So that's pretty cool. All right, when you're all done, go ahead and hit that home button. The home button always takes you back to this main screen, FYI. Now, if we swipe to our left, we do have our different apps that are on the phone or on the uh, watch, excuse me. You have eight stock apps. So timer, exercise, alarm, your relax, the weather, settings, tips, and the Strava. I think this might be an extra one. And if you download any new apps, swiping to the left will show you the new apps as well. These are two new apps I installed later on. I'll show you how to do that later on in the video. So these are all of our apps. If I want to set a timer, I just tap on there. And like I have a stopwatch running right now. I can swipe left and I can set a countdown. And again, that home button always takes me out of it. So those are just some of the stock things that are gonna come on the device. Now we're gonna go ahead and jump over to the phone. This is where you're gonna see a lot more of the details. Um, so in the app here, this is where you really control customizing your Fitbit. Now, in the upper right corner, you should see a little picture of your Fitbit Versa. You're gonna tap on that, and that's what's gonna get you to a lot of the extra settings you need to change it up so if you want to change the the watch face you're going to tap on clock faces and here you'll see the current one you have and you'll see oh, excuse me if you go to the upper right click on the three dots here you can see a bigger picture of it you can go to your settings so i can actually make changes to the theme i can make the theme blue and let's go back here and now the lettering is blue instead of white I can go to settings again I can go to purple and now the letters are going to be actually multicolored so you can do a lot of different things in here in terms of customizing it but this is how you control the watch face and the different options that are there all right, now we're gonna go up to done. Go to all clocks, and this is where you get to the Fitbit theme store where you can download different watch faces. So there's there's watch faces that are made by Fitbit, like they're direct ones, and then there are staff picks, stat, stat heavy ones. So like if you want like the weather to load and you want like specific stats that you're tracking, you can go through here and view all digital options. Now I want you to keep in mind, um, there are a lot of free faces and there's also a lot of paid ones as well. So you might download one and there'll be a pop-up that'll say, just so you know, this is a paid watch face and they'll let you use it for a day. And then after that, you either have to pay for it or you have to go back to the old face you were on. So just keep that in mind. They're not all free. If I want to download a new one, let's just say I want to get this one right here, I just tap on it and I just tap select and install. And at that point, you just wanna wait till this little bar goes all the way to the right. And when it's done, it'll just change the watch face automatically. Sucks to have to wait. Usually they load pretty quick, but again, it just depends on how elaborate the clock face is that kind of determines how fast it will transfer and you actually don't have to stay on this screen for it to do it we can back out of this and let it continue to download and you'll see the the face change when it's done just to show you as well so these are only the first couple you can swipe through to see more or you can click on view all right here and this will give you a bigger view of just the other face options in there and like in stat heavy for example there's a lot of different options in here this is one of the reasons i love this device is because there's just so many different options um i love my fitbit charge 3 but i hated that there was just a very limited amount of, of of clock faces um and you just you know it was a black and white screen you can only do so much with it so it is what it is 
anyway that's where you change your clock faces now here is your app section this is your app store if you want to download specific apps you do it all in here so all the stock ones are going to be at the top and then you're going to go to all apps and here you'll find anything and everything you can think of from oh sorry just to show you our clock face has changed with the new face there it is so now we have all these new cool options in here we've got starbucks and staff picks and e-trade uh, flipboard new york times there's just a ton of apps in here and again once you download them you just swipe left and they'll all show up on the screens right here right after these first couple so that's where you'll see all those apps now uh, the particular model i have is the fitbit versa Lite. so in this version you can't make payments but if you do have the fitbit versa the regular model or i think the highest model you do have the built-in uh, payment option where you can pay with the watch as well so just keep that in mind as well and the last thing I want to show you is the notifications. So under general, we just swiped down here, tap on notifications and under text messages, you can select which app you want it to use for text messages. Um, you can always, uh, excuse me, go to app notifications as well. And in here you can select the different apps that you want to give permission to show notifications on your Fitbit. So a lot of, they basically uncheck them all. You have to go through and check the ones that you want. So for example, like you may want to show your Instagram likes a picture or sends you a message. You can have it set, you know, oh, when Instagram does anything, make sure you alert me. Or guess what? Maybe you use Facebook Messenger a lot and you want to be able to see when you have a new message. You can go ahead and just enable Messenger I think it's called like FB Messenger or something. I might have passed it, but you can enable Facebook Messenger and as well, it will show up on here, even things like Twitter. So that's how you control the notifications that show up at the top here. You just first have to enable them in the app notification section and that's it. All right, guys, this has been the Fitbit Versa and Fitbit Versa Light for Beginners. We try to go over all the basic things that um, people normally need to know when they first get these devices, you know, how to navigate it, as well as how to, how to change the watch faces, how to download the apps, and how to change your notifications. So we hope the video was helpful, guys. Do us a favor if you can like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. Leave a comment down below if the video was helpful and tell us one thing that you learned. We always love hearing the feedback from the people who are watching. And if there's a specific video you'd like to see, something you want to learn how to do on here, leave a comment down below and we will definitely try our best to get to it. Thanks again for watching, guys. Again, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care and have a good one.